September marks the bloodiest month in Lebanon since October 7, as Israel continues to massacre civilians in the country. Sadly, this is no longer a shocking statement for many of us who know by now that Israel is a non-stop killing and destruction machine. What seems to be striking, however, is that Western media seem to be more determined to spread Israeli lies than report the mass murder of civilians. Israel conducted its terrorist attacks in Lebanon, the infamous pagers and walkie-talkie attacks. Yet, it was the Islamic resistance in Lebanon that made the headlines instead of the hundreds of people killed and thousands wounded. Israel then launched a wide aggression in Lebanon, killing hundreds in a few hours. And yet again, the Islamic resistance made the headlines instead. Israel is justifying its massacres against Lebanese civilians under claims of Hezbollah weapons in the living rooms or Hezbollah using civilians as human shields. Familiar, right? Still, this is how Western media are spreading this narrative. What's the common thing between all of these headlines? They are attempting to downplay Israel's aggression on Lebanon by either labeling it as conflict with the Islamic resistance in Lebanon or adding Lebanon says when it comes to mentioning the number of civilians killed or even saying Hezbollah says, which makes it less credible, according to them, of course. What's also quite ironic is that none of these newspapers bats an eye to the fact that since the outset of the war, the resistance has only been aiming at military targets, while Israel has been bombing civilians, most of whom are women, children, and elderly, both in Gaza and Lebanon, relentlessly. Even if hundreds of thousands of people are killed by Israel, Western media remain committed to spreading Israeli lies and sugarcoating Israeli crimes.